Welcome to LNG. We're here with uh, David Standridge, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the judiciary and the, specifically the Supreme Court. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you. I enjoyed uh, being here. Thank you for coming in. I know there was someone that was supposed to be in your spot, and you came in last minute. I really appreciate it. Sure. My thank pleasure. You, thank you. Um, Supreme Court's a lot. Uh, we hear a lot, a lot about the Supreme Court, and uh, I wanted to specifically talk to you. So just so the viewers can have an idea. Uh, how the Supreme Court functions and sure. what the, uh, in which ways it, you know it works and how the arguments are brought forth in the sure. Supreme Court and stuff. Um, I know you know a lot. I know some basics, but I know you're, you're. Uh, I'm sure you're well versed in it. So uh, let's take it from how uh, the arguments are brought to the Supreme Court. Sure, and you know I think it's a great topic that you're addressing because um, so many people are just. Um, in the dark when it comes to the judicial branch and uh, yet we see a lot on the news and the media especially with some of the recent decisions that have come out that impact upon Americans lives uh, pretty significantly and so the way a case gets brought into the Supreme Court you know the Supreme Court is the uh, ultimate the highest court the highest authority court in our land and so cases have to make their way up through the court system so they start off in and the Supreme Court is part of the federal uh, system and so a case will be brought into what's called the trial court which is federal district court and that's within states and so for example in New Mexico you go to federal district court and you have a trial and then if one side or the other is upset about what happens at the trial level they can appeal it and then it goes to a circuit court so for example here we're in the 10th circuit and what that means is there are courts up in Denver and they cover multiple states in the western part of the United States and uh, they take appeals well uh, then after that appeal occurs and if someone still doesn't like it they can appeal it to the United States Supreme Court and the United States Supreme Court has the option whether to take the case or not take the case and so some cases probably most of the cases I would say they don't take and it's very few cases that actually make it up there to the United States Supreme Court how does it work now when you um, someone loses a case now they like they go to the New Mexico Supreme Court can they uh, bypass the New Mexico New Mexico Supreme Court or they have to go through New Mexico Supreme Court and then they will go to the Supreme the well, US Supreme Court how does that work sure and I'll tell you it's based upon the kind of case so there's different cases in different situations so sometimes you have cases that deal with uh, federal law issues mm -hmm. and those cases are, will get pushed into the federal court system making their way possibly up to the United States Supreme Court cases that deal with like our state constitution the highest authority is going to be the New Mexico Supreme Court and if they don't involve federal issues or um, parties within uh, interstate party disputes they usually aren't going to make it up into that federal system so there, it depends upon the kind of case. Um, as you saw in the most recent decision regarding what people call Obamacare and mm -hmm. the United States Supreme Court mm -hmm. decision there, that obviously was a federal issue mm -hmm. that's dealt with from the United States Congress. And so it's a federal national kind of issue. And that's why the United States Supreme Court would mm -hmm. take that kind of case. Now, who brought uh, the Obamacare to? Was it a different states? Was it an individual state? I, I right. There are clear. different states that, that, that objected that. to different provisions within the law that Congress passed, and so they took it up, and they had to go through the trial court, and then all the way up to a circuit court, and then appeal it, and the United States Supreme Court took that um, took that appellate decision. They said, we, this is a, a matter of, of national importance, and mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and listen to the arguments and make a decision on the constitutionality of, of the law. So now, when it when it gets to the court, the U.S. Supreme Court, um, how do they decide whether they're going to uh, take the case? I know they go through the oral argument, but isn't that a stage before the oral argument? Before? There is because um, it's called a, a writ of cert, uh, certiori is what it stands for, and 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 people and there's different ways to get to the United States Supreme Court. But what happens is at, from the circuit court. So you, you had a decision in the it's essentially the Court of Appeals, which is the Tenth Circuit, they, uh, and, so, and a person doesn't like the outcome there, mm -hmm. they then um, ask the Supreme Court to um, take the case. Mm -hmm. And so before you get to oral arguments or anything along those lines, the, the Supreme Court has to make the decision to take the case. 
once they make the decision to take the case, that's when it gets set on a docket and there's certain uh, time frames and timelines based upon the rules of the United States Supreme Court um, for how the case will then be managed and when arguments may occur, when briefing has to be done. And I'll tell you something very interesting, just because you're an attorney, for example, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an attorney mm -hmm. in the state of New Mexico. I am licensed before the federal district court and I'm licensed before the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals. But you have to have a license to practice before the United States Supreme Court. I don't have that license. I've never argued a case in the United States Supreme Court. Uh, it would be a pinnacle of my career to do so. Um, so the Supreme Court is really, uh, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for citizens. It's a big deal for attorneys. And um, they don't take every case that comes down the pike, so to speak. Okay. Um, we're going to take a break in about a few seconds. When we come back, uh, we'll talk about um, how they decide and what happens uh, after the arguments are done. And everything. Sure. Okay. We'll be right back.